Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out what are three simple and underrated ways to get an awesome man to commit, stick around because I'll be sharing them with you on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And I'm excited to be sharing with you how you can inspire a man to commit in a simple, underrated way. First thing I'll say is that a lot of men these days experience a fear of commitment. But here's the thing, a lot of women, because I get a chance to connect with a lot of women, a lot of women also experience fear of commitment. So when you think about what commitment is, commitment is being willing to say, yes, where do I sign? Uh, I mean, I do, right? That's commitment. Commitment is saying, I found enough value in this human being that I'm willing to forgo other opportunities to fully pursue and to fully experience this relationship. Now, for a guy to say that, he needs to know that he's committing to something that's gonna continue to grow and is going to continue feeling exciting and alive, right? Same thing for women. So if the first commitment, the, the first step you can take, if you want to have significantly, exponentially more options, in terms of guys, is commit to radiance. Instead of following a bunch of different strategies, if you commit to radiance, which is what the hell must I do in my own life so that my inner light is being expressed to the outer world, so that my sense of aliveness, vibration, sensuality, flow, excitement, passion, playfulness can come out in an unrestricted way, hit the guy in his chest and allow him to step up Right? I think at a certain level, guys, when they feel a, a lot of radiance, first of all, not their head, their heart gets instigated, right? And they start taking more action. But two, when a guy feels that sense of radiance, he's willing to do a lot more for that woman. He's willing to do a lot more to serve that light and that radiance. So that's number one. Very important to mention that not every guy can do this, right? There's gonna be a series of guys who are ready for commitment, not a big deal. Some guys who can commit, it's gonna take a little work, meaning the guy is gonna to have to feel more and more that this is gonna be the right thing, right? Commit to the right thing instead of committing to a life of pain. <laughs> and there's gonna be a, a number of guys that no matter what you do, you could bring the number one actress in the world and the number one model put together and they'll still not commit. And that's the type of guy that you need to identify kind of quickly and move away from. Now, the guys one and two, the guys that can commit, uh, number two step to create that commitment is you create a commitment to yourself to high standards. So I start with radiance because if you commit to high standards first, which is what a lot of women do, you start by saying, you know what, here are my standards, but the light they're radiating is not high, then they're met with crickets, right? But if the radiance is the, the part where you start from, and then you say, here's what I commit to. I commit, I, I commit to having a standard where a guy needs to be respectful towards me, where a guy needs to pursue me instead of me pursuing him, where a guy needs to ask me out, when a guy needs to establish his intentions. I mean, where a guy is um, being generous. I'm being generous in terms of my expressiveness. He's being generous with his time. He's being generous with invitations and things of that sort. If you commit to that, then the guy feels unique when he connects with you. He feels, I'm committing to someone who's making me my light Life full of light, basically. He's feeling that from you. And she has high standards, meaning not any idiot can get her. He takes a guy, and he's gonna think he's a unique guy, he takes a unique, awesome guy like me to get her. Therefore, that's a great combination. Now, the third step is gonna be to recognize that commitment is a daily choice. What do I mean by that? I think that a lot of people feel that commitment is a static step, this milestone, that once you reach the milestone, you're safe and you're set. It's absolutely not true. If you look at commitment as a moving target where you need to continue growing in your light and he needs to grow in his level of support and adoration of you, then that commitment will be a lifelong, strong, steady thing. If you create that commitment and then you lose yourself in the relationship and you stop doing the things that allowed him to feel your light in the first place, or you, he basically gets a little lazy and lowers his standards and you lower yours as well, then the commitment lessens in intensity. As long as you're doing both, the radiance and the high standards throughout, and you recognize that today I commit to you, tomorrow I commit to you. I mean, it's a day-by-day it's, it's day thing. Once you do it that way, 
then the commitment is something that you don't have to fear. Something that you feel in your heart and it's the magnet in your circumference keeps growing in strength. So he has more and more and more need to continue serving that light. Hope this is helpful and useful and insightful. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, there's going to be a link that allows you to sign up for a video that I created for you to share with you how you can find your soulmate in a faster and easier way than you ever thought possible. And uh, as always, I mean, all you have to do is click on that link. The link will take you to a website that has a, uh, a page with a yellow tab. Click on the yellow tab, enter your name and email, and you're set. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.